Aloha guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I am on location guys, Animal Kingdom, woohoo! Just so you guys know, it is gonna be about 90 degrees today. Genie Plus is at $29, so we are expecting high peaks. Magic Kingdom is actually completely sold out today, so I'm hoping Animal Kingdom, maybe not so bad, but waiting for the bus. It took three buses to fill our entire line at our resort, so ah, today may be crazy. But follow along as we explore Animal Kingdom over spring break. We're gonna check out the rides, the wait times, the crowds, all that great stuff. So follow along guys, Animal Kingdom. Here we go, Animal Kingdom. You can see there are still people here trying to purchase tickets. Remember, it is a better idea to purchase those tickets in advance and get those park pass reservations because you never know when the park is gonna be sold out. But here we go, we're getting ready to scan in and it does look like quite a few people up ahead. trails so we could get closer to the tree of life. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's a little overcast right now. This is some beautiful carvings. We see an owl, a hippo, a monkey, I see a tortoise, so many creatures. Here's the other side of that gorgeous owl. I can't even name them all, there's so many. You could just stare at this thing forever. We're just killing time before the safari and this is a great thing to do while doing that. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we see a lion. I see a big monkey of sorts, a crab. If you go a little bit higher, there's a bat up there. Oh my gosh, and a horse? My daughter sees a snail. It's just amazing. Sorry, I can't think of any other words other than amazing, beautiful, and wow. Do you guys see who I see? It's the most elusive bird at Animal Kingdom. It is Kevin. Look at how gorgeous she is. Aw, Kevin. <laughs> Oh no, she doesn't eat chocolate? We're following Kevin. How cute is she? Look at her feet. Look at her Kevin feet. He's got cute feet. He's got cute feet. He's just cute. I'd 
they're buying it. I don't have any Oh my word, Kevin! My friends, feel free to snap us photos from where you are standing. There are no lights, no queues. Oh, Kevin! That's right, so heavy. Okay. Right up here for us. Oh, Kevin. Later. Ah. Good job, Jolie. <laughs> I know you're so <laughs> sweet, aren't you? Hello, <laughs> Kevin. Hi, Jody. Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh, what do you see? She's moving. She's on the move. Hi, <laughs> hey, buddy. You're going for the wrong end. <laughs> We're just following Kevin today. I changed my mind. My video is now all about Kevin today. <laughs> She's getting upset. Someone called her Steve instead of Kevin. Beautiful she is in her little feet. Do you like chocolate? hill up ahead next to the baobab tree I can see some beautiful silverish antelope. Those are the wildebeest. They can migrate in herds of up to 1.5 million of them. They also run around 50 miles per hour so wildebeest face a pretty big challenge. They feel safe and they know they're well protected but you would not see this out in the wild. It can put them in a very vulnerable position. They even give birth standing up and it is a six foot drop down to the ground for babies onto their heads. Sounds like a pretty rude awakening to the world, but it's actually very important. When they kind of knock their heads on the ground and bounce, they're born at around 300 pounds after a 22 month pregnancy. There are some mandrels on our left on the rocks. A rhino breeding program had 13 southern white rhinos born. Rhinos are hiding. And have been there. able to relocate two of them to Uganda. They are helping to repopulate an area that had been extinct for almost 30 years. So this is the vegan hot links uh, bowl. So what I love about this is it's kind of healthy, right? So you got a Beyond sausage, you got a salad and some rice. This is the grilled chicken bowl, same kind of concept. Can't go anywhere without french fries. And I assumed the husband needed his coffee.
we just had lunch and we went ahead and uh, redeemed our Lightning Lane for Lion King a little bit early. So we're actually sitting down inside kind of the queue area soaking up the fan and the shade because I mean it's hot out. Uh, there's just not anything really to do because it gets to the point where the ride lines are kind of too long to kind of scoop something in. So you end up kind of killing time. We decided to kill time sitting down and relaxing, but up next is the Festival of the Lion King. And then we're gonna try to do a uh, Navi River Journey and then hopefully a dinosaur. So yeah, stay tuned as we continue to do Animal Kingdom. To be honest, you know, when it's this hot and this busy, we kind of just do whatever. We try to just be really flexible about it. Um, as opposed to following a specific itinerary to try to, you know, get all the things done because it's just hot and it's crowded and you get sweaty and, you know, you get cranky quickly. So we're just trying to take it easy and just kind of seeing what we can do by being flexible, right? So yeah, Lion King up next. To the festival of the Lion King! We have Princess Stella, all the way from Alabama. She's going to be our leader today, Stella. This arm in the air for the elephant's trunk. And now, let's hear that elephant call. <laughs> Stella, that's an elephant we will never forget. Stay with me.
entered new theming, which means we're in Pandora. World of Avatar. We have passes for a Navi River journey. All right, Navi River journey. Wait time is currently at 90 minutes. Thank goodness we have a lightning lane. But for those of you who always want to know what time it is, it looks like it's 1.40. So there you go. Actually helping cool its body temperature by about 15 like degrees. Three, actually, if you look in the back. They're all saying hello to you guys. See, elephants are very intelligent because they like to tell each other stories. The older elephants will send out rumbles or vibrations underground. Very similar story. been rolling in some mud. Rhino. Now rhinos absolutely love rolling in mud because it helps protect their skin. Not only from the rays of the sun, but also from anything that might try to bite the rhinoceros. Like mosquitoes or ticks. Now white rhinos are very different from black rhinos like the ones we saw earlier. They're not nearly as solitary. And Over on the left hand side, if you look all the way up, they are the largest birds on earth. No, ma'am. These are also female ostriches. You can tell from their gray feathers, as only the males have the black feathers like you see in cartoons. They're 
also the largest bird on Earth, but are quite completely flightless. But can run up to speeds of 40 miles an hour. It's so hot, we had to stop off at Creature Comforts, aka Starbucks. Woohoo! All right, Dino Land USA. My son wanted to ride dinosaur. Here we go. All right, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I just heard another guest complaining because her kid did not see any dinosaurs. Dino Land does not have dinosaurs roaming about. If you want to see dinosaurs, you have to ride the dinosaur ride. So I'm not sure what that lady was thinking she was going to see, but if you're hoping there's roaming dinosaurs like we're in Jurassic Park, the answer is no. There are no free roaming dinosaurs. But you can ride Triceratops Spin. That will get you on a dinosaur. We've been waiting for dinosaur. We did get a lightning lane, but look at this. <laughs> Stand by, 15 minutes. You just never know with Genie Plus if you're gonna get into a day with really long waits or not. Either way, we're going in. <laughs> taking the path right now, the one behind the dinosaur ride that leads up to the gift shop. As you can see, there's no one here. There's actually some shade. Not any seating per se, but that doesn't stop most of us from sitting on the ground. But so here is the backside of the gift shop. Sometimes there's a bench over here. Let's see if it's still here. We've got a few people over here looking at a dinosaur, but yeah. There's a bench here and everything, but you see how no one is pretty much here? All this space in the shade, this makes it an awesome spot. Oh, look at, and there's seats over here too. So that makes it a great quiet spot here at Animal Kingdom. All right, my family's getting tired and they want to leave, but we cannot leave without going on Triceratops Spin right here. It's the Dumbo meets Dinosaur Ride over here in Dino Land USA. Also, if you like carnival games or your kitties want to win some uh, plush toys that are adorable, this is the spot to do so. But yeah, look, it's there's no one here. This was also listed as another quiet spot. They've got benches over here and all sorts of stuff because they tore down that ride that's behind that blue fence. So this makes this a great spot to kind of chill and hang out if needed. Yay, happy cast members! Triceratops spin, let's go. Yeah? Are you excited? I'm not in my house. Are you super excited? Is this your favorite ride? No. Am I driving you crazy? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, well honesty always counts. My son's giving me motion sickness back here. Henry, what are you doing to me? Oh, uh, you never push the lever, so it's on automatic control. He knows everything. Alright, here's a bird's eye view, sort of, of Dino Land USA. There we go. Morning, we are 
deflated. You look like you're enjoying this, Henry. Oh! Oh no! He's making it bounce. I actually not. How are you guys doing? Hi. You're being blocked out. That's a big picture. Well, apparently we're not done yet. We had decided to watch uh, the Finding Nemo show, and then I guess we're gonna have dinner here. So you never know when the day is gonna switch itself up. Oh my God. He says, I heart flying. <laughs> 
All right, guys, that's it for us. We ended up staying at Animal Kingdom a lot longer than we thought. There were times when we were like, we're gonna leave soon, and then we never did. We had a really great day. We did all the rides that we would have wanted to do. We had lunch, we had dinner, we saw Kevin. Yeah, the highlight of my day is Kevin. So yeah, we had a really good day. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful seeing what Animal Kingdom is like at spring break. Um, wasn't too terrible today. It was definitely way worse early in the morning. I'm wondering if it's because a lot of people were waiting to hop. So once two o'clock hit and they could hop to say Magic Kingdom, which was sold out for today, uh, the rest of the park kind of got later in the evening, which is kind of a nice little tip. If you want to go to Animal Kingdom, when it's more breezy and when the waits are shorter, wait till after two o'clock because maybe everyone else is hopping. And then if you come here, maybe you'll just have less crowds. But either way, we had a great day. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, like this video, and comment. Kevin, if you see Kevin, are you gonna chase her down to get your picture with her? We absolutely had fun hanging out with Kevin. We hung out with her for like 20 minutes, following her around the park and seeing all the shenanigans she was getting into. It was definitely a highlight for me. Love Kevin. But as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out.